going on YouTube? Disabled Outdoorsman here talking about the outstanding and awesome Ontario Unitac 2. Um, a few things I forgot to mention before we get back to competitive options, which is where I left off in part one. It is not a complete th flow through design, so if you get lint or anything else in this area, then you'll have to come over here and blow it out with compressed air. Other than that, um, you shouldn't have any problems. If you get lint like in here, you can just blow it out with compressed air through here. And it does have jimping, but it's not useful, I don't think, because it looks cosmetic. And although I can dig my thumb in, kind of like you see here, it doesn't really stay in place. So I would say that the jimping needs improvement, but other than that, it has a nice handle to it, nice feel, kind of a little finger toil right here for your finger. And it, once you get it in grip, even though it doesn't have good jimping, it's not gonna go anywhere unless you want it to. So, uh, just a few things I forgot to mention there in part one. But I was, I left off talking about competitive options. Like I said earlier in part one, the knife is about $46, $47, at least where I purchased it, it was. Now that was from MidwayUSA.com. I like going to Midway, I think they have good prices. And reasonable prices for their items. If you know some other knife place that I don't know about, then you might be able to score that knife for cheaper. But if you can't, or it's too much, then I recommend that you buy the K-Bar Dozier. Smaller and lighter, and it doesn't cost as much as the Unitac 2. But you will be giving up blade length, and I would say maybe control and the locking mechanism I don't think would be as well because if you're not careful you can cause this knife to come back on your fingers. But other than that, those are the competitive options I would recommend, at least for tactical use. Um, but so far, it has a good track record, at least for me. I don't know if it will for you. And I'm not, not aware of any um, military or law enforcement agencies that employ the Unitac 2, I'd say it's mostly a civilian kind of knife. Now, could you use it for military or LE? I would say yes, without a doubt. You want a knife that you can stick in your pocket and it's always there and you know it's there and it'll save your life? I'd say yes, it's worth it. So, that's it guys. And by the way, I tried to look on Amazon for you guys because that's also where I go to get some of the stuff I've reviewed. And the Amazon doesn't carry it, so I would again just recommend going to Midway USA. Dot com. Thanks guys, I'll see you all around. Let me know if you liked the tripod in the comments. Let me know if it made a difference for you at all in the lighting. I know that in the past some of y'all had said I need to improve the lighting or the angles or whatever. Well, let me know if I've done a good job. Let me know if it still needs improvement. And that'll help me make future and better videos for you guys. Thanks YouTube.